Recently, I took you here to the Deschutes Historical Museum for a look at their new exhibit about the history of mountain biking in Central Oregon. For this week's edition, I'm sitting down with two of the pioneers of mountain biking in Central Oregon to find out how they took some clunker bikes, some duct tape, and started a revolution. Of course, it didn't hurt that Bend was a lot different than it is today. Aubrey Butte was wide open. There must have been maybe, what, eight or ten old roads up there. No development, and we we drive from the house here, and being five minutes, you're in the back, basically some back country. Bob Woodward literally wrote the book on mountain biking, but he also should have written a book on how to do it in style. He was in one of the first races in Bend here, what's called the Cascade Cruise. Yep. And there's Woody riding this old, old Schwinn cruiser cantilever frame. Yeah. Did, you, did, you, did you have streamers on that thing? Yeah, I did. Yeah, you did, did, you did, yeah. And he's he's. Pedaling up the hill, passing everybody. It was unbelievable. I was like, man, that's what I want to do. But those friendly bikers, they didn't always make a good first impression. I'll never forget going into M&J years ago, walking all eight or 10 of us on bikes. And the bartender goes, I go over and he said, you're not here for trouble, are you? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think we'll just have a beer. Maybe dance, and we'll get out of here. Woody went on to become the mayor of Bend, but he never let that get in the way of a good adventure. Governor Kitzhaber is coming to City Hall. Could you come down and visit? And I said, well, I just got in from a bike ride. Well, he'll be here in five minutes. So I rode down to City Hall, blood all over my legs, <laughs> in my bike shorts. And Governor Kitzhaber looks at me, he, I love John, he's a great guy. He goes, Woody, you didn't have to get dressed up for me. And when the federal government started pushing back on these newfangled bikes? Let's just say these two-wheeled rebels had their own way of pushing back Central Oregon style. There was a time when the Forest Service said, all right, no more bikes. And they, and they changed all the signs on the trail to hiker only. So it was a capital H. Well, it was really easy with a felt pen to make that capital H into a B. So we changed all the signs back to biker only. And we kept riding. Now the trouble with inventing a new sport is that you're also the one that first learns what not to do. We had a black rock ride where we rode to, uh, down to Alder Springs and uh, one of the guys decided he'd pass one of the other riders on the cliff side of this one little canyon. He went off the cliff, fell 60 feet to the bottom, but he didn't die. He, he had a backpack on yeah. full of all the clothes because it was such a cold day. And he landed on his back and it blew out like an airbag. And he's, he's, he's still alive today. <laughs> Many of the early pioneers still get together for reunion rides to this day. All for the love of adventure. And the greatest thing was we got to explore. That was the real emphasis. You get to some place, I'm sure Denny agrees. You'd say, oh, let's just take this trail down here, this game trailer. Oh, look at that road, Let, let's go, we could go any place suddenly, and, and it made it really a lot of fun. Yeah, we wanted to go where nobody else had ever been on a bicycle. That was kind of our goal a lot. In the end, a lot of revolutions take hold because the founders are purely motivated by their passion and dedication. Which is truly the case for these two godfathers of mountain biking. Well, it was called mountain biking. It's my religion. It's, it's what makes my heart jump, it's what makes me feel good, it makes me happy. I don't, you know, other than falling down once, I always got up laughing. And their reason to be will not only take an honored place in the history books, it continues to inspire them to live a life of passion and adventure to this day. You know, as you can see that picture I just showed you, I'm still smiling. <laughs> it's just, it's just what heals your soul, makes you good. I probably am into more bicycling more now than I've ever been. You know, I'm 77 years old and I'm hammering hard and I'm really loving it. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on more videos from Central Oregon Daily News. And for more news from the high desert, just visit centraloregondaily.com.